At least now I can see that I'm recording a motherfucking video. Guys, I shot this video, yes? I shot this video. If you see me looking there, that's my mirror. I'm trying to see if the camera is still recording. I'm so irritated by the fact that I keep looking at my mirror, but I have to, because then you record it, guys. I recorded this video. Anyway, let's get into the agenda. First things first, lip gloss. Lip gloss, this is the uniform when watching this video. You must have something on your lips. You must have your lips moisturized. It doesn't have to be glowy lip gloss. It just has to be lip gloss, you know? No, it just has to be something that you moisturize your lips with. It can be Vaseline, it can be one of your ointments if you have eczema. You must have something that makes you feel like a girl, you know? Probably like paint your nails while watching my videos. Like do your hair, do your makeup while watching my videos. I'm going to post these videos on Sundays, I think, yes, yes, I'm going to post these videos on Sundays because I want it to be part of your Sunday self-care routine, yes. Anyway, let's put on some lip gloss. You wanna fuck with that? Tell me to pull up a thorn. You can't get enough of it all. Hey Jollies, hey girlies, hey Manda Mazzara the gang here. Welcome to Big Sis Conversations with your girl Uta Fizz in the building. Anyway, yeah. That is the new intro for this segment. I feel like this segment deserves its own intro. It deserves its own type of attention it deserves its own day like it's for the girlies it's for the dollies it's for the mental mazane it's for the gang you understand so if i was here as the intro by the next upload i think you should leave i think you should leave anyway guys so this segment is all about girl topics that i want us to talk about it's about elevating yourself it's about self-development it's about dealing with your insecurities it's about stuff that we suffer from each and every day i'm literally like your big sister you know if i'm younger than you i'm still your big sister you know yeah so if there are topics or anything that you want me to talk about send it dm me my handles are here dm me um send me your dilemmas any issue that you face with that is related to you as a girl send it to me we might have a conversation like keep the conversation going like you know so today we'll be talking about getting out of a slump you see now if you guys are looking at me properly Yan Bonaba, I am very crusty, meaning I am still in a slump. So me making this video is me kind of manifesting getting out of the slump that I'm in. And I've been having back-to-back -back mental breakdowns. Okay, so what if what is a slump? A slump is basically like a funk. You're in a rut. Like you've hit rock bottom and you just feel like there's no other like you just feel like the light at the end of the tunnel is switched off you just feel like you're just moving in fact you are surviving you are not living you are surviving you are just existing you know that is a slump and that's what i am going through so that's part of it so signs of you being in a slump is basically you feeling sorry for yourself 24 7 and I don't think some people want to admit that they feel sorry for themselves, but you feel sorry for yourself. What do I mean by that? Like, you feel like the world owes you an apology. You feel like the world owes you something. The world doesn't owe you anything, Baba. It doesn't. You owe yourself something. And that is to get yourself out of that slump. So that's the first sign that you're in a slump. The second one. You don't care much about your appearance. Yes, you try to, but you don't see anything 
that would make you feel good that you could wear you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like girl what the fuck is going on <laughs> like what's going on you know and the third one i would say is you're just moody like you are easily irritated you are easily annoyed like you are like you are emotionally naked like you are so fragile that a person can say something that they would say when you are happy and you take it to the heart you take everything personally and it's just a phase of your life where you feel like everything is just wrong now that is a slump your room looks dirty my room doesn't at the current moment because i was really trying them trying to, to like try and feel good but that's another thing your wardrobe is a mess your hair is a mess girl your hair <laughs> Your hair is a mess. And I feel like shit. I feel like a packet of rubbish. I feel like Zimbabwe. Sorry to say it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the life that I'm living, it's giving Zimbabwe. Those are signs that you are in a slump. These are two pictures that might illustrate the difference between being in a slump and thriving. Now, how to get out of a slump? You start by doing easy things man like small steps like probably like cleaning your room all the things that you've been procrastinating to do do them secondly don't overwhelm yourself by doing a whole to-do list or like writing down a whole to-do list of stuff that you want to do that might make you like feel better don't like pressure yourself into doing all of them in one day today clean your room tomorrow do your hair the next day to that to that to that to, to that like don't overwhelm yourself because you're gonna look at that list and you're gonna be like how the fuck am i gonna do all these things in one day and you'll end up not doing anything at all procrastination must be your enemy procrastination must be that friend that betrayed you you should not embrace procrastination i used to embrace procrastination i do still and the feeling of getting up and doing something is much better than the feeling of like time passing by and you realizing that you know what i didn't do shit the whole day and it would have been better for me to just do the thing that i was procrastinating trust me like those small achievements like picking up your socks like opening the window like cleaning your room those are small things that could lead you to thriving in like being much more happier and getting out of a slump so that's one thing that i say that might help you why do i say might as if i don't believe it it will help you make a to-do list right make a to-do list be realistic in your to-do list please don't put a whole bunch of stuff that you won't end up doing just like i said you will get overwhelmed don't do that to yourself secondly do small things like when you wake up in the morning you immediately make your bed immediately don't go brush your teeth or like eat watch tv because you won't end up doing making that bed you won't so the achievement of making your bed will make you feel better about yourself because nothing is good like walking into your room and your bed is made like your room could look like a mess but if your bed is made it will feel much more cleaner you see so those small things they count some or some thirdly always have something that's like a pick me up you know like me my pick me up is definitely lip gloss i'm gonna take a bath honey put on some lip gloss moisturize my face do all of that and i'm going to feel better about it you don't need to have shit tons of money to like go out buy this buy that if you do good for you papa but if you don't you don't really need to have money in order to feel good about yourself you don't need to like you know oh and another thing that might show that you're in a slump is you comparing yourself to other people so 
when you're trying to get out of that slump don't compare yourself to other girls you watch her instagram story and she's out having fun and you think you're not living your life living your life is what you make it the third thing every day do that one thing that makes you like happier you know a pick me up that's what we call it my lip gloss is my pick me up my me watching my youtube videos is my pick me up me affirming myself is my pick me up now with affirmations it's easy to say things without believing them just because you say you want to affirm yourself affirmations you must say those things as if they are already happening when you're affirming yourself say it in present tense i am wealthy i am strong i am beautiful i am i am i am i am present tense sanalwam present tense and believe what you say you're not going to believe your affirmations on day one but work on believing them because what you say to yourself and how you speak to yourself it manifests in how you think about yourself and that's another thing the way you think about yourself leads you to the way you live your life being in a slump also comes with I can't, I won't, it won't happen. Those negative connotations, is it connotations? Those negative phrases, words or whatever, they will lead you into feeling like you are living in like a life that's stagnant like lack of a better word. Like you feel like you're rolling and you're a hamster and you're a wheel and you're just running, you're just running don't do that to yourself don't don't love the life that you are living and i have something that i think you guys should write down everything that i need i already have everything that i have is all that i need everything i desire i will receive because my reality is created by me keep saying that to yourself and come back and tell me if you're not out of the slump i'm not saying you're gonna get out of your slump today or tomorrow or next week but the more you like keep these things in your routine like your daily routine you'll feel much more better about yourself another thing when getting out of a slump work out you don't need to do intense workouts maybe squats maybe do lunges maybe like do yoga or whatever anything that can make you feel better do that meditate write in your journal yeah well journal your thoughts break down your thoughts if you're someone like me just right now if you haven't noticed i ramble a lot so if i don't have my thoughts in like categories or whatever or in a book or a page i am going to lose it i am going to lose it i suffer from anxiety and it's easy to like for me to have mental breakdowns it's very easy so when it comes to getting out of a slump, it normally happens to people who don't shit themselves. By that I mean, you must shit yourself. Because no one is going to give a shit about you. I'm going to insert that TikTok here. Listen, love yourself, trust yourself, and shit yourself. Because no one's ever going to give a shit about you. And if that doesn't make sense, make it make sense. Love ya. That's what I'm talking about. You must shit yourself some some because if you don't give two shits about you or if you don't live in your main character era it's easy to land in a slump i am going to have a part two of this video where i actually really go deep into how to thrive being in your girl boss era girl part girl boss personality and honestly i don't want to make this like a long video because i am nervous as it is it's my first solo video i don't know how i did you guys are going to tell me in the comment section what else should i talk about comment like share subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and yeah bye